In the lively village of Numberville, best friends Max and Melissa were known for their curiosity and love of adventure. Max was brave and loved exploring the outdoors, but he often felt nervous about math. Melissa, on the other hand, loved puzzles and numbers, and she always encouraged Max to see the fun in them. One bright morning, as golden sunlight poured over the village, a colourful letter floated through the air and landed at Max's feet. He picked it up and read aloud, Dear Max and Melissa, the math wizard has hidden magical treasures across Numberville. To find them, you must solve puzzles, count carefully and use your math skills. Are you ready for an adventure? Melissa clapped her hands. Max, this is it. A real adventure where math will help us find treasure. Max gulped. I, I guess so. Let's do it. And with that, they ran towards the Meadow of Stars, ready for their first challenge. Challenge 1. Counting the Stars The meadow glittered with hundreds of glowing stars hovering above the ground. A sign read, Count the stars in each row and add them to find the total. Only then will the path to the treasure appear. Max frowned. There are so many stars. I don't know if I can count them all. Melissa smiled. We'll do it step by step. Count the stars row by row, then we'll add them together. It's easier than it looks. They counted carefully. First row, seven stars. Second row, nine stars. Third row, eight stars. Fourth row, six stars. Melissa whispered, now add them together. Max thought hard. Seven plus, nine, sixteen, sixteen plus, eight, twenty-four, twenty-four plus, six, thirty. Suddenly, a sparkling bridge appeared across the meadow. We did it, Max shouted, running across it with Melissa laughing behind him. Challenge 2. The River of Shapes Next, they arrived at the River of Shapes, where stepping stones floated across the water. A sign read, add the sides of the shapes to find the key. Only then can you cross safely. They saw shapes floating on the water, a triangle, a square, a pentagon and a hexagon. Melissa counted the sides aloud. Triangle, three, square, four, pentagon, five, hexagon, six. Add them together, three plus four plus five, six, eighteen. As soon as they solved it, the stepping stones rearranged themselves into a safe path across the river. Max and Melissa hopped from stone to stone, laughing and cheering as they crossed without falling into the sparkling water. Challenge 3. The Maze of Multiplication After crossing the river, they entered a maze of colourful walls. Each wall had a math problem written on it. A sign said, solve the problems to find the correct path. Max looked worried. There are so many problems. What if we get lost? Melissa encouraged him. Take it one step at a time. Solve one problem, then move to the next. We'll do it together. At the first wall, they saw 3x, 4r, 12, they shouted together. The wall slid open, revealing another path. They solved more problems. 6x2, 12, 5x3, 15, 8, 2, 4. Each correct answer opened new doors, guiding them deeper into the maze. Max began to realise, math isn't so scary when we work together. Challenge 4. The Treasure of Numbers Finally, they reached a glowing treasure chest at the heart of Numberville. A riddle glimmered on the lid. I am thinking of a number. Multiply me by 3, then subtract 6. The answer is 15. What number am I? Max scratched his head. Melissa smiled. Step by step. First, we add 6 to 15. 15 plus 6, 21. Then divide by 3. 21, 3, 7. The number is 7. They turned the knob together and the chest opened to reveal golden coins, sparkling gems and a magical math book filled with puzzles and secrets. Celebration and Reflection Max and Melissa sat outside the chest, smiling from ear to ear. Melissa said, See, Max, math is like a treasure hunt. 
if you take it step by step, it can be fun. Max nodded, feeling proud. I never thought math could help us like this. I even enjoyed it. They ran back to the village to share their adventure with friends, telling everyone that observation, patience, creativity and teamwork helped them solve every challenge. The moral of the story. From Max and Melissa, children learn, take problems step by step. Breaking them down makes them easier to solve. Test and check your work. Mistakes are learning opportunities. Think creatively. Math is not just numbers. It's problem solving and imagination. Work together. Friends can help each other see solutions differently. Have fun while learning. Math is an adventure if you approach it with curiosity. Fun closing for kids. Next time you face math at school or at home, remember Max and Melissa's adventure. Count carefully, add, multiply, divide, think creatively and work together. You might just discover your own magical treasures in numbers. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye.